That was a funky little tune, wasn't it? It was! What was that? What was that? Mm. Ooh. Tell Ooh. us below. Now then. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, hello. What the? <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh. Um, yeah. Bit yeah. special, isn't it? We're, we're pretty lucky today. Yes. Yes. The time has arrived. Uh, they don't turn up very often because uh, they take a little while to make, basically. Mm. Um, and there's a quite, a quite a waiting list. But this is a Fender Custom Shop. 1964 heavy relic jazz bass that has just turned up with us. Four, four, um, yes. and if it was the 70s, I'll go. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know what that means. What's that? What's that? I don't know anymore. Win. Yeah, and um, and as it's turned up, we thought we'd pair it up against um, the Squire equivalent that is out right now, the classic vibe Squire 60s jazz. So a bit like really expensive and exclusive, and then just the uh, a very affordable. Totally. Conversion and see yeah. how, how they uh, compare. But really, mainly, it's just to show you this. Really, um, yeah, and really, if they t t say if this does something that this doesn't do, when you'd hope it, when that this is nearly fourteen times the price of that. Is that all? A rough, roughly. <laughs> um, so you know. Well, what, so what? So this is how much is this one? Three three nine. Okay, three three nine. Uh, four two nine nine. Okay. Yes. There you go. So. Big difference, and we'll just we'll talk you through. We'll have a little play. Hopefully, you can hear some differences that are worth four thousand um, pounds. But maybe, maybe you don't. Maybe we don't. Um, it'll just be interesting to uh, to see. So um, it's a beautiful thing, isn't it? It is, and I, yeah, I should show you the back as well. Obviously, the relicking is. Ooh, all over the back. look at the neck. I know how they've worn it through. It's beautiful. Um, completely traditional as well with this. So you've got uh, the reverse tuners. So where you would. Tighten that way normally? No, no, no. Tighten no, that no, way? No, 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 no. no. Uh, traditional appointments like the ashtray and the um, pickup cover. Or playing inhibitors, as we like to call them. Playing inhibitors, absolutely. Because it is difficult, isn't it? It's very hard to play in this little gap. Yeah. Um, but we'll show you in a minute, we'll take that off. Um, thumb rests, nowhere near your thumb, so no. completely traditional. Um, and uh, yeah, the but controls that kind of face backwards. Oh, that was something yes. that was interesting, wasn't it? So when they're sort of fully wound up, that's fully they're facing on. that way. And when and you're fully wound up, because that's what I'm used to. They go the other way. Interesting. Beautifully aged, though. Be oh man, yes. Clay yes. dots, I suppose. Really clay dots. They will be traditional clay dots. Yeah, actually, well, yes. Shall I run you through some spec? Look, as as we're talking um, quality here, top of the top. Oh, the custom shop. you get a file of facts with it. You get a little file of facts That's with nice. all the deets. So, um, so yes, let me show you that you've got certificate, Ooh. unique certificate, and sign off for the spec sheet. So this is the uh, the actual floor sheet, I think, that goes around the, the shop. So from different different stages, you different benches. You've got a rather beautiful case. Beautiful case, custom yes. shop case, look at that. So uh, I could, while well, you're looking at this beautiful <laughs> case, oh. I'll run you through some oh. spec. God, smell it. Oh, oh no! It smells expensive. You can smell the nitro in it's there. It's got right? oh, it's got a nice strap in there. It's got all the tools. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't expect anything less, I don't think, at this level. But mm. um, as I'm looking at, I'll just run off some specs because I say this will be top of the top. This is a two-piece order body. Uh, say based on the '64 model, which just to, if you don't know, uh, anything before that had uh, just two or four knobs, but two. They were concentric, so they were stacked on top of each other. So it's um, almost like they simplified it then. They actually did, yeah, I guess. So yeah, just to say one tone, make it easy, volume for each pickup. But okay. before that, you'll see the 60, 1960 jazz bass to 63, 64 is where they had two. Interesting. Just a little geek out there, sorry. Um, and we have four bolt neck, nitrocellulose lacquer, which we were talking about earlier as well. This is the traditional way they use them um, and finish the bases from when they started. Um, 7.25 radius, which um, is the vintage radius, so this is extra curvy um, on the radius instead of being flat. So that's the actual angle of the frets. Um, but to be honest, I, I can just tell you a bit about what they do in the custom shop. They actually 
it's like the next level of um, pairing woods. So instead of getting a bit of maple, a bit of alder, or whatever that is, we'll get onto that, um, and put them together saying, yeah, that does, that, that, that will do the job. Mm. They actually test the resonance of each piece of wood. Ooh. So they've got a fancy gizmo and they'll kind of do something to the body and go, okay, we've got a resonance reading of that. Let's get the neck reading. And they'll pair the best matching necks and bodies so the whole thing resonates perfectly together. So it's like an extra detail which you don't get in any production um, stuff. How about that? Yes, fine details. And normally this is uh, very few people that work on these. This is like a handful of people in the shop. Um, one person will sign it off. I think this is Rob Thorne I saw. Um, oh, Rob, yeah. Uh, Ron Thorne, sorry. Ron. Sorry, Ron, Ron. I called you Rob. Yeah, Ron. Um, Ron Thorne signed this off, but um, this would, wouldn't have seen many hands. This, this, is, uh, this is quite a unique experience. And obviously, as I'm on it, you don't have to have them like this. You can order whatever you want. If you're looking at this and going, I want something like that, but in that color, and I don't want it relict, mm. and I want a maple board. Give us a call, we can just make one. You wait about two years, mm. but that, that's what you'll be doing, you know? So, but we can get anything you want. So uh, that's a little bit of history about what you get with That's a beautiful shop. thing. Now, obviously if you wanted um, an original one, that's gonna cost you about 10,000 pounds. Yeah, yeah, about about that. Yeah, which, um, I mean, if you're in this market, we were having a quick chat before, you know, it's, okay, it's double what you're paying for this, but yeah. it's not that far off for an original, but obviously having something like this, all new appointments, even though it looks battered, this has been, you know, this is all new um, uh, parts and new woods and everything. So obviously you'd hope that this would probably have less issues than a 60 year old actual well, original. Of okay. course. Yeah. Um, but absolutely quite affordable compared to the guitar market. You think, say, 63 Fiesta Red Strat will be, I don't know, 20, 30 grand or something. And why is that then? I, again, I think maybe if it's just like there's more um, more guitarists after so that more, market more demand, and less and less of those original vintage guitars, but right. um, but I don't know why it's... It doesn't seem fair, does it? it we're not well, so not guitar players. No, we get... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get, we get a little choice. But yeah, um, so this is, yeah, turned up with us, but say so we can get it, um, we can get all of these in any kind of finish or any spec that you like. Beautiful. Um, but yeah, um, compared to this little beauty here, Yep. Um, we have a poplar body, so poplar is slightly lighter, more affordable wood. Um, maple neck though, as this does as well, uh, and an Indian laurel fretboard. So uh, again, more affordable wood, um, just to use it, but obviously the, the look is the same, it's the same kind of style of base. You don't get all of these fancy metal gizmos, but you'll see, we'll take these off in a minute anyway. It's the, probably the, easier. This <laughs> is, so this is the classic vibe, right? The classic vibe. Exactly. So there yeah. you go, see what's, where it's going. Totally, yes, yes. And you can see even between them, this is what a new tortoiseshell scratch plate looks like. And this is what it looks like when it's been through 40 years worth of gigs. Yeah, years, yeah, yeah. Well, people used to smoke yeah, like uh, yeah, crazy. Yeah. All aged around the... So all of that sort of fine detail obviously is, um, yeah, is, is where the extra money's going. So, yeah. um, but we should shut up and play them. Well, I suppose That's so. That's what I hear so, everyone saying. What do you would, you, would you like yeah. to take that off so you can play it at least? Yes, yes, give us two secs. Hold up to the camera. Okay. <gasps> How'd you do that? Thanks. I don't know. Um, that's so much better. That's so much better. Okay. There you go. Now here you we go, here we go. Right, so uh, back pickup. I'll start there. Tone off. Sounds like this. So I'm doing that on this one? Oh yes, yes, let's do that, yeah. Tone off, back pickup, yeah? Yep. Tone up? No, no, what was that? Oh, that was tone that off. Was, that was back on, on that as okay, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, tone up, let's have a look. Sounds, sounds, sounds really good. Hey, they, they, okay, okay, right, okay. Um, front pickup. 
Tone off. Okay. Turn on. Both pick up. Ooh. Turn on. Turn on. That's very interesting, wasn't it? Sort of direct, direct challenge. So we're both going through uh, Fender Rumble mm -hmm. 40s flat. Yeah, set well, up exactly the same. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so it gives it a, a kind of kind of run for its money, doesn't it? That sounds. I ooh, I was. I'm. I'm shocked. I really am shocked. Yeah. That sounds so close to this. Yeah. Tone off. You can hear a difference. Tone on. It's very similar. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, even if it's in the same ballpark, it's doing well, right? Um, no, totally. Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah, and, and it, yeah, I'm just a little bit... Wow. Should we swap? Sure. Because I think it, this might be more down to feel in the end of the day. Okie dokie. Because like, if the sound sounds like that... All right. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, okay. So let's, uh, well, you have a go at that. Yeah, so okay. Give right. me your initial reaction. Uh, so this is everything, just everything on. Do that over there. So. Okay, so the, my first thing is the the, the string tension and um, and the, the the feel of the neck, like, right? Yeah, but I mean the sound is that's quite obviously. Amazing. So we've still got the, the the glossy neck on that yes, one. Yes, yep. So that's going to feel a lot different. This yeah. is of course that was down to the kind of bare wood with a little satin finish on it. Yeah, so, yeah. So yeah, very different. The same kind of profile though. The profile seem very similar. Yeah, same but then, profile. I suppose they're going to because if that's based on this, they're going to make that like this, right? Yes. Yeah. It's Interesting. Just quite amazing that say this is made in the factory that's been doing this since they came out in the sixties. Yeah. And this has been built by obviously a, another team of very very you know talented people, but in China in the Chinese factory, which are meant to be obviously producing things more mass produced and quicker off the line um so oh, okay yeah yeah the, the string tension thing did you do you know what i mean like that feels like it's a little bit lo loosey goosey i want to say <laughs> loosey goosey you know, you've got you've got a little bit more like play in the strings I, I find that a little bit more comfortable this has got like it's a bit more rigid i wonder how they would achieve that then how, yeah, how yeah how that would happen when you're using the same scale um and size base i don't know yeah um but <laughs> amazing that, that that sound is incredible. The, the sound is very similar, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really is. I'll tell you what, let's put that to the test because maybe it's psychological. Um, why don't we do a blindfold test where 
you know, you you play both bases, and I'll see if I can tell which one's which. <laughs> oh, yeah? yeah, 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 yeah. What do you say? Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello there. Hello. It's my. It's it's gone. It's finally gone. I can't see anything. <laughs> I knew this day would come. This is going to be interesting. It is. So yeah. th this has all been interesting so far for us. I think. Um, yep. So, uh, yeah, Nathan's going to try and guess now which one I'm playing. Okay. Yeah? Yep. I'm going to do full tone on both. Okay. And actually, yes, I'll do full tone on both and then I'll do no tone on both. Okay. If you need a bit of time. All right. Right. Yep. <laughs> Okay. It's, it's, it's difficult, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, um, should I sw swap over and do tone off? Or is that not going to help anything? I don't think it's going to help. Okay. Just do that again. Do that, okay. You got any ideas so far, Nathan? Any, any Initially, I thought it was the Squire first. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Right. Clue. Serious? I really yeah. know. So I don't tell don't okay. tell me because no, no, then no. Like, you put this on. Oh wait, let me let me take don't take them off. No no no. Um Are you gonna do tone on again like we did? Or? Yeah, I'll just okay, do exactly right, okay. the same. Okay. Do exactly the same uh, as you just did. Mm -hmm. Uh what what key were you in there? B flat. Okay. Okay. That's okay. a bass. Okay, that's a bass. Any Is thought? it a jazz bass? Oh, huh? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's a stingray. <laughs> Here's another bass. Oh, I can see it. Nah, 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 nah. Does it help? That's bad. Oh. So, any any thoughts there? They mm. sound so similar. Are, are you sort of swayed in any particular direction? I heard just a teeny bit more warmth from the first one. The, mm. the second one had a little bit more of a, uh, a brightness to it. Right. Um, so, just initial... Without, because they say so, sound so similar. Yeah. The initial thought is the first one was the custom shop. Okay. But I'm, I'm not confident. Okay. <laughs> but right. that would be my my thing. What? You, once more, yeah. Okay. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, do, I'll, okay. I'll, 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 I'll try and sort mine as quick as possible. That's yeah? cool. Okay. Here we go. Okay. 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 Yep. Oh no. <laughs> Don't take it off yet. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Uh... Any 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 thoughts? Whoa. 
Oh, can I take them off? No. No? Okay. Um... Well, no, of course you can. Can I'm I? Finished. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, whoa. That is so hard. That, that, that really is. Um, I still think the first one I heard was the custom shop. Yeah, and so... So the, and the second one was the... So just on that, on that second time round? On that second time round, and that was hard. I, it was almost like, I don't know if you swapped them over or not. I think you might have been tricking me. But, I, I, but I'm still not sure. This is the thing, they're so close. Okay. Like it's, uh, so I would say, yeah, the first one was the custom shop. When we first did it. Yeah, yeah. You're... I can't remember now. Yeah. No, I think um, you're right. You're absolutely right. right. Yes, you're right. You okay. got it right. Yeah. And then what you were, th you were thinking when you were blindfolded? Yeah. I can't remember. It's such a long time ago. Your initial thoughts were the first with, one was the custom shop, which was also correct. Yeah. Oh. Ah, yeah. You were hesitating. You were hesitating. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. How about that? That's so strange. I don't know what I would say. It's for me blindfolded. It was like there's a bit of more warmth and a little bit more um, kind of attack to the squire. Yeah. Um, but that. I didn't even hear when we weren't blindfolded. It was just that tiny, tiny extra bit of detail when you can't see anything and that's what you're focusing on. <laughs> but then, uh, to be honest with you, it's it's a 50-50 guess, isn't it? So, yeah, 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 that's that's true, yeah. You know, uh, yeah. There's, there's, there's minute things totally. in it, obviously. So, well, that was good, wasn't it? That was fun. That was yeah, very great in, interesting experience. Yes, yeah. Well, hopefully, that helps you as well. <laughs> if you're making a decision of what you're in the market for, or, you know, or even if, say, you've just always been after a squire or always after a custom shop. Yeah, can... I mean, if it's a thing of absolute beauty oh, man, and man, rarity man. and an investment, then, uh, and you've got £4,300. Yeah. But, uh, -da. if you want something that sounds like, you know, this. Yeah. Um, and you've got 330 quid. Yeah. But, uh, totally. Because that looks beautiful as well. Really does. Buy yourself some sandpaper. And a hammer, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and go nuts. You still have change from 400 quid. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> An option. Yeah. Warranties won't be valid after that. Yeah, anyway, uh, if you <laughs> by, are, the way. by the way, if you're in the market um, for this absolutely beautiful thing, uh, you better be quick. Because this is the first one of these we've seen in yonks. And it? probably about a year, actually a year. Yeah, yeah, the first one in a year, and, and it's the only one here. So, yeah. so if you want one of these, better be quick. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. Or as we said, contact one of the guys at the shop if it's something that you want something like this, but your own flavour, your own... Uh, you can do anything. And you don't anything. mind waiting, that's the other thing. Yes. If you want one now, buy this one. That one. If you want to wait a couple of years, then you have that option. Yeah, totally. Uh, yeah. <gasps> you almost relicked it then. I almost, yeah, yeah I almost made one. <laughs> he almost relicked himself. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. Right, the in trouble. <laughs> right in the relics. Oh, right in the So there you go. I, I yes. think we've all learned something here today. Oh, which man, is totally. When we're blindfolded, we don't know what the hell's going on. No. Or do we? That's it. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so well, that's cool. This has been all about the base. I've been Nathan. I've been Lee. And uh, great. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Totally. See you soon. Bye. Ta -ta. Bye.